What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today hanging out with you guys and check out my new piece that I got here. Got this from the Coral Reef. It's a electric flame scallop and as you can see the electricity is pulsating between its long tentacles which is really really cool. Um, one of the uh, one of my viewers was at the LFS at the time and his daughter is the one that actually saw that and I was like oh shit I gotta buy this. So good eye my friend, good eye and taking your daughter to the reef shop, getting a future reefer for when you get maybe a little too old, uh, your daughter will take over the reef tank. Let's do an update and check out some of my corals. This is, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's doing really good. I love the colors. I actually had this on the backside of my overflow, but I decided to move it because it was gonna get a little bit crowded with all the branching SPS that it's starting to fill out. So I put this on a flat uh, shelf rock here and hopefully encrust this rock. And as you can see, those colors, pretty sweet. It's a Montipora, of course, and uh, it looks really good. It's doing really good so far. And uh, it's tolerated all, you know, my bad reefing mistakes. That's a good thing. If it survives my tank, once I start fragging this up and I sell it, locally or whatever you know it's going to tolerate your tank but let's zoom in and check out these polyps you can see that they're really tight different colors orange different colors of yellow and green mixed into it pretty sweet it's doing really really good uh it's about the same size i can't say that it has grown much but once once you kind of like forget about the corals and you leave them alone uh, the next thing you know they grow out really really big now this last frag that I got here I'm about to show you is uh, SPS and I forgot the name, I think it's like Tyree Lemonade or something like that and when I got it it's pretty much just greenish brown, not even dark green and as you can see uh, it did color up a little bit. I made a little bit of tiny uh, cuts because they were growing into my overflow and I'm cooking these for later on and uh, you can see that they're doing pretty good polyp extension and everything. Um, I do want to show you a top-down view of the tank. We're going to go ahead and feed the fish so you can see them swimming around really good. I have a, a mixture of garlic, mysis, and uh, some uh, like algae brine uh, cubes. Yeah, we're going to mix it up and we're going to put it inside the tank. I'm going to cut off the flow here in a second but uh, it's gonna look pretty sweet. But I'm pretty happy with the way that the tank is looking. You know, I did aquascape, I changed things up a little bit. Um, and before, like I said, I wasn't really happy with the aquascape and layout, but now uh, you can see I got rock going up to the overflow, got all these kind of little hidden arches. Even my fish seem to like it because they're making uh, little tunnels underneath the uh, rocks and stuff. And uh, everything is doing pretty good so far. I can't wait to get into more of the SPS game. Um, getting into some of those acros. Uh, which was really not my thing. I've always been a Zol guy. Probably always still be a Zol guy. But uh, I do want to get into a little bit harder corals. Um, I need to pay more attention to my alkalinity. Um, I tested today and I was right at 7. Uh, and I, that's usually where I stay. I know some of you guys go 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, I know Mike Patella and all them, the big dudes, they do like 12 alk and they got some crazy colors going on. But if I did something like that, uh, I would just probably crash my system because uh, my corals are so used to being low that it's kind of easy for me. Every reef tank is different. I'm not using any uh, crazy salt or anything like that. I'm still using the reef crystals from Instant Ocean. Uh, I might consider trying to buy some better salt maybe, but I've been using that salt for years and seems to be doing okay as far as getting out all the excess nutrients from water changes. Now supplementing the corals and all that, maybe that might be a different story, but my tank does look okay in my opinion so I'm gonna go ahead cut the flow off now squirt some of this food in here um, like I said I'm using a little bit of garlic in here and I'm still doing that because of the new fish that I added the uh, the uh, chocolate 
tang and the um, Scopus tang, which gives me a total of four tangs. I would like to add some more smaller fish uh, and then just stop with there and then start buying more coral, you know, like I had mentioned. What did you guys end up buying this weekend from the LFS? Do you guys have a LFS close by? And or do you guys order online? That's what I want to know. Like I said, I'm pretty fortunate uh, because I have a couple good LFSs and usually I pick up my livestock from there. I have never really ordered like fish online or, you know, something like that. But I usually pick those up at the store. The only things that order online are pretty much corals. But let's go ahead and take a look. Enjoy the uh, tank and you can see the wrasse. Now, I did want to add another wrasse. I think uh, they're awesome fish and they uh, look really good, but I don't know. Uh, Alan was telling me that the uh, Melanaris is a little bit of meaner. So what rash wrasse would you guys recommend? I'm kind of leaning for like a yellow horse rash. Rass, I keep saying rash, but whatever. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see what I uh, decide to do. I might just leave him the, as the king of the tank and just get some smaller fish. I would like to maybe get another clown, but I don't know yet. And I sometimes wonder about my nano, whether or not to add some clowns in there. Um, but to be honest, I kind of like having the nano with no fish because I don't have to feed them. Now, as I speak of the Nano, I'm talking about my Innovator Marine 25 gallon Lagoon, which is basically just a frag tank. It's pretty much, you know, I just fill up the auto top off, make sure that has water and I just leave it alone and it grows me corals. It's doing really good as you can see. And uh, so that's why I'm kind of wondering, but then I kind of get the itch to get some more fish and do some different uh, clowns in that tank so we'll see i probably will get some different fish but you know how that goes all right enough of that let's go ahead and do get into some of the top down views uh, if you haven't done any top down views on your own tank you guys really should get yourself a chair uh, be careful with your phone because uh, you don't want to drop your phone in there but anyways do the top downs because you can see the totally different colors. You can see how well your corals are growing. Uh, and it's just a different view that will make you love your reef tank even more. You know, it's a, it's a hard between the top down and the side view. Uh, I would definitely choose the top down view. And I'm going to show you why here in a second. So the equipment wise, the latest feature that I've added to my reef tank was the Aquatic Life T5 Hybrid. And I went with the full 60 uh, one inch fixture. Um, that's like their most expensive, but I wanted something to cover the whole length of my tank. And I think so far everything is doing good. Everybody's adjusting to it. And uh, it's not too crazy. Um, I wanted T5, but I didn't want to give up my LEDs. You know, LEDs are here to stay and there's no nothing that can make that coral pop, in my opinion, like LEDs, like the royal blue, the UVs, and all those crazy colors. Uh, it's just not gonna happen with regular T5. You're gonna get good growth, but with the hybrid, you're getting the best of both worlds, as you can see. But what are your opinions? T5 or straight LED, or are you guys running both? Um, I've seen tanks be pretty badass with just LEDs. And then I've seen tanks that are awesome with just T5 but you know, for me it's gonna be the hybrid always. Now I still gotta kind of pick up the corals and you know organize the sand bed. Uh, I don't want to just have things on the bottom like that kind of spread out. I just kind of just have it like that for now because I've been you know messing around with other reefing things. You kind of do want to do something and you say you're gonna do it tomorrow then you just never do it. I will get to it eventually um, but you can kind of see what I'm doing I have the green Monty I have some red Monty and I have a purple Monty and they're gonna grow together and it's funny because you know we do these weekly videos you guys come and you watch and you guys comment and it's cool uh, it's a place where we all 
can get together and you know comment tell each other what's going on with our reef tanks and uh, this is what's going on with mine and I have the itch and I know you guys are like man you got a lot of corals you got a lot going on but I have the itch to place another order and get more corals um, which is why uh, I needed a frag tank that's why I kind of with the lagoon I just made it a frag tank because I didn't want to just you know get rid of the other corals I'm a coral hoarder like a crazy cat lady well, I'm a coral hoarder I got a whole bunch of uh, different stuff but I do want to have that itch to buy some more corals I'm gonna probably check out some live sales which I don't really understand how to do that you know you check in on the hour you post a picture of your your display or whatever uh, I need to start paying attention and uh, see what's up with that um, the forums that I use is uh, mainly been reef to reef and you know I lurk on there I don't really do too much as I post my videos on my thread and it's pretty cool because I'll go back and I'm like oh yeah I remember doing that and uh, you can see but I do have some corals but I want some more I picked this one up locally this red uh, Ghani it's pretty sweet and as you can see um, it's doing really good um, I'm glad I picked it up and uh, you can see it's just awesome but I do have the flow off because I was feeding and uh, you really get to enjoy your tank when you're checking it out at night uh, usually I have more time in the evenings during the daytime you know we all gotta go to work but doing good man I want some more now that I've been kind of successful for this one uh, I had this one in my lagoon um, just kind of you know testing the waters it's been doing good I haven't been target feeding it yet I probably should uh, mainly I've been dosing my tank with that bright well uh, coral colors uh, it's the continuum product and it's like three bottles and it's going pretty good I think I posted it on the Instagram so if you haven't seen that uh, go follow that but you can check it out it's doing really good my one of my favorites so far and then check out the Zoa, those Zoas and Pallies in the background they just pop but until next time my friends if you want to see some more reefing videos uh, make sure you hit that like button subscribe and hit the bell notifications um, but let's do a side view close it out and then we'll catch you guys on the next reefing video you guys take care stay out of trouble barbecue laters